Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into this thing, shall we? Well, yeah, 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 Clarissa Shield lost so what? She's only the greatest female boxer in history, the only champion, multi-divisional champion to even compete in MMA. You know, I ain't talking about somebody that, you know, was in boxing that you hardly even heard of, don't know of, and, and they went to the MMA and did better. No, I'm talking about somebody that's a former two-time gold Olympic medalist, a two-time undisputed champion. <laughs> it get no greater than that, you know? So here she is going to the MMA, which remember MMA has no bearing on her wins and losses in boxing, which she's undefeated in boxing. She responded to old Jake Paul. I call him fake Paul. <laughs> well, anyway, fake Paul, you know what I'm saying? He said, you know, ah, karma, ah, ha, ha, about her loss. Um... She fought somebody and lost split decision because the girl couldn't swing with her and bang with her. She had to just trip her down and, and lay on top of her and swung most of the time and hit the floor and, and didn't even land punches on Clarissa Shield because you can look at her face and tell she ain't swole up and beat up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, very crazy. Um, that he even responded because he's an exhibitionist fight. He ain't got a real boxing license. You know what I mean? So, and then he got people signing contracts that they can't knock him out. They knock if if you knock him out, you know, uh, you lose your purse. That's why if you notice Tyron Willie knocked him through the rope and he didn't even get back on homeboy to knock him out again. Hmm. Anyway. She responded to him, you know what I'm saying, like she should, the quote, the champion, you know, <laughs> this daggone guy. But anyway, you know, it's crazy that she would even have to respond to somebody like that. But this is what the, the champion Clarissa Quote Shields had to say. I lost a split decision. I didn't get my A whoop. I also improved. All I'm going to do is go back to the drawing board and keep learning. No one said this journey was going to be easy. MMA is new to me. I'm fighting on a world stage after only nine months of training. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Salute. Salute, Clarissa. Man, for real. You know what I mean? I straight up. This is. I'm a fan of this one. For real, because coming from Flint, Michigan, she could just be quiet, do what she do. But you know, she was boxing and wearing blue hair in reference to the water victims in Flint, Michigan, the water crisis they had and still have. And she said she won't change the color of her hair until that situation is resolved. And I loved her for that. I loved her. Well, beyond that, before that anyway, but I really fell in love with her when I know when I knew that's what she was doing. Because I wonder why she was wearing blue hair on fights. I'm like, huh? But then to hear that, I'm like, okay. Okay, you got my heart, girl. You got my heart. So anyway, uh, <laughs> you know, it it don't get no better than that. And not only that, they saying that she still is going to go on with her December the 11th fight, her boxing match that she got coming up. You feel me? Come on now. Who's doing it like that? Who do you know of doing it like that? For real, for real. You know? All these uh, fighters dodging fights 
and oh my arm hurt oh my shoulder hurt like dilly and white look at him <laughs> then at the press conference you know putting his hat on lifting his shoulders up just as fine but I ain't gonna say nothing about that because I ain't no doctor, you know what I mean? It could be, you know, after he punched for a while, it hurts. But I just figure, you know, if your shoulder really bothering you like that, you wouldn't want, you know, you can you want on, put your hat on. <laughs> but anyway, hey, I ain't even studying him. Getting back to Clarissa, like I said, she still expected to box Emma Cozen on December the 11th. You know what I'm saying? That's how much of a G she is. That, that loss to Abigail Montez, for real, for real, if Clarissa could have stopped one of those ground attempts, it would have been her fight, you know? So, anyway, uh, Shields uh, promoter Demetri Salida said that, uh, you know, after she left the cage, you know, readily, you know, unscathed, you know, split decision loss, she says, Shoot, yeah, I'm still going to fight. <laughs> I'm still going to fight. Carissa is disappointed, but she is doing okay. And boxing is her bread and butter. So, you know, she looking forward to returning to the boxing ring December the 11th. So she can put that dag on hurting to beat Savannah Marshall. You know, and, and avenge that only loss in boxing and her boxing amateur career. So, of course, she is ready, ready, <laughs> for real. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Anyway, look, that's this time on this video. Definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website and cop a t-shirt or sub some merch you know what i'm saying show your love all right peace